therefore it insists on the constant interaction between the spiritual and the physical. I will emulate the high ideals of all ancient cultures, such as tolerance, nonviolence, respect for my peers, dedication to duty, and honor to my elders. I shall maintain a good rapport with my school. An unwritten rule of martial art requires that students only speak well of other students. I shall be extremely cautious about making promises, but I shall keep the ones I do make. I shall be punctual for class. I shall react in a mature manner towards every event, regardless of whether it is favorable, frustrating, or disastrous as I represent this school. I will act always with my purpose before me. I will act with sincerity and forthrightness. I will endeavor to overcome any shyness I might feel while being in front of an audience. And in this effort, I will assist my instructors in teaching beginning students whenever possible will not hesitate to take the necessary risks in order to develop into an ideal martial artist. I will endeavor to finish what I have started, to reach my goals, and to set new ones. My work is a reflection of myself. My execution of martial arts techniques is also a reflection of myself. In whatever productive work I do, I will create a masterpiece, and it will reflect my genius and virtuosity. In all things, I will work most seriously, intelligently, and wholeheartedly. To it, I commit my soul, my body and spirit, even my whole life's fortune. I am a doer, a venturer, and a winner. That's my personal pledge. That's my daily pledge. As taught to me by the late Grandmaster Shim Sangkyu. Sangkyu Shim. Just read his book. That's for sure. Aloha. Kamsamani da kwangyanin. Shim sangyu.